to look at the new Samsung Tab Pro 10.1. Now this tablet is directly aimed at the iPad Air because this one is thinner, it's lighter, it's more powerful, it has two quad-core processors inside, three gigabytes of RAM. This is like numbers that are tripling, quadrupling what the iPad Air has because it's still a dual-core processor and only one gigabyte of RAM. So uh, let's just go into the software real quick. This is running Android 4.4.2. Very simple. Uh, it's still running TouchWiz, but it's not called TouchWiz anymore. It's called Magazine UX. And why it's called Magazine UX mainly lies into these little features on these home screens. Now, this is actually not part of your home screen. If you zoom out, it's not on there. It's actually a feature through your home screens. This was kind of like a Flipboard application that's just on your home screen. So basically, you can set up all your news feeds. Like here we have news, sports, science and technology arts and culture, photo design. We also have your calendar, your business email and office. And this all comes here just to, you know, keep you updated to everything. But this is running Android 4.4.2. So it's the newest and latest version of Android KitKat. So that's really good to see. Uh, and it seems a little bit more toned down than normal, you know, Android with TouchWiz. So that's definitely good to hear. So again, the display measures in at 10.1 inches diagonally, 2560 by 1600. It's an ultra high resolution display more resolution than the iPad Air. Uh, you have basically a super thin bezel. This one's coming in right over seven millimeters thick and it weighs less than one pound. So compared to the iPad Air, look at the iPad Air here. This one weighs a single pound and it's about 7.3 uh, millimeters thick. This one's around 7.1 or 7.2. It's kind of like in between there. So you guys can just kind of guess between that. On the back, we have the same faux leather plastic that we found on the Samsung Note 3. So it's not super high quality, but it does feel better. It gives you a nice grip. Uh, it's not the same material found on the Samsung uh, Galaxy S5 with that kind of rubberized golf ball looking mesh type. You have an 8 megapixel camera here, a 2 megapixel camera on the front. And uh, around the sides, we have one stereo speaker. And on the other side, we have the second stereo speaker. So good stereo sound, but it's not facing at you. Uh, right next to the right speaker, we have a micro SD card slot. So you can expand the storage. So you can basically buy the cheapest configuration, which is 16 gigabytes, and just add micro SD cards if you need more uh, storage there. On the bottom, we have a micro USB charger. And on the left side, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And on the top, we have your IR blaster. So this could be your basically your humongous 10.1 inch controller for your Samsung smart TV. You have your volume rocker, and then you have your power uh, sleep with lock switch, basically. Uh, so again, pretty simple tablet in terms of buttons and overlay. It's basically what you've seen on a Samsung Tab device, but this is their Note Pro. It's their new line of professional tablets. It's super, super quick, super powerful inside, and it's not running dreaded TouchWiz. Well, it kind of is, but it's not called TouchWiz, which that means at least one thing, right? So it's definitely going to be an interesting tablet to get a uh, look through. It's a sweet tablet in terms of display. I can't wait to watch videos. And it's also, it also has a brother in it. It's called the Note Pro. 12.2, which we actually have a review of that coming very shortly here at phonedog.com. So make sure to keep it locked here.